Okay guys, here's a, another Chris King. And this is a stock whip right here. Nylon. And um, this one's about 8 feet long with the uh, cracker. It's probably about 9 and a half feet long. But uh, it's one of my favorite whips. So let's see what we can do with it on our candles. Let's stand back a little bit. <clears throat> Just going to kind of guess on our distance here. Here we go. We got an upswing, then we come down. Okay. Here we go. Ooh, that hit it. I felt a piece of wax fly over here. Right in front of it. And we got that one. I'm hitting the, that candle right there. Okay. okay. That was a good hit. And a couple of those, I hit that candle right on top for whatever reason it didn't put it out sometimes they can be tough to put out even if you hit them what looks like you hit them right i think it's easier to uh you know get better with the whip on hitting candles if you throw knives because knives is all about form and technique and doing everything exactly the same way okay let's see where let me check my distance here. Here we go. Alright, here we go. Alright, here we go. Here we go. That was good. Can we do it again? Here we go. Here we go. We go. Oh, I was pretty sure that one was going to hit. In case you don't realize what I'm doing, when you, I got the whip behind me and I'm going up. And see that? Can you see that going up? Here's again. I'm going up again, and then I'm coming down. So you go up and then come down. So if you're going up now, the candle on the right. Watch this. When you're going up. And the candle on the right when you're going up. I'll try to put that in slow motion. The your cracker and all is going going up through the center. Your cracker and all is going up through the center here, and then coming back down the same spot it's going up. That's where you want to do. So you know when you go up, if you're to the left, you need to come down just a tad to the right. Okay. Depending on how much you need. If you need to come over an inch to the right coming down, then you come over to an inch. You need to come a quarter inch, come a quarter inch. So that's the you swing upward first and then come down. Now some people hold the whip in front of them when they do that. And some people hold it behind them. I like having it behind me. Focus on the flame. Oh my god, here we go. Oh, I came up perfectly center of that candle. Came down just half an inch in front of it. Here we go. Okay. Can we do it twice in a row? The million dollar question. Here we go. I knew that one was going to work because I could tell. The upswing was off. Here we go. Woo. See that? Wax blow out of there okay so I got wax on this tassel a little bit too and see this is not an overly long tassel either so it's you want your tassel something like that that's probably like two inches tassel This one's already burnt down, so you still see the wick is here. Okay, and this one, it doesn't have much holding it, just 
just a tad. See that thing just came off just touching it almost. So that had to be a perfect hit for that. Okay. And what I'll do is melt a little bit of that wax just to hold it on a little bit. Might be able to get another crack at that. So and sometimes you see a uh, somebody has a candle and they'll have it in a glass dish type thing. Well, you can hit that candle sometimes kind of hard, and it won't knock it off. And but with this, it's got to be almost perfect. Okay. So let's try again. One, two, three. Oh, that was good. Can you do the other one? One, two. Oh, man, you blew it that time. Ooh, too much pressure on that second shot to do it. Oh, three strikes, we got two of them. I think I've got it enlarged enough. All right. Here we go. One, two, three. Ooh, perfect. First strike. Here we go. One, two, three. That, that one went up like inch to the left and came down an inch to the left. Here we go. Ooh. Do it again. Here we go. One, two, three. Here we go. One, two, three. Here we go. One, two, three. Perfect. Can we do the other one? Pressure's on. One, two, three. Can't handle the pressure. Three cracks, two candles. One, two, three. Right. One, two, three. Damn. All right. Okay, I'm about to run out of candle on the left side. I just take a long candle like those. Well, they're 10 inch candles or something like that and just cut them in three pieces. All right. We hadn't knocked any candles off in a while, so that's good. Here we go. Let me turn my whip. Every whip's got its own personality, okay? So when you pick up a whip, whether it's stock whip, bull whip, snake whip, whatever, it's got its own personality, and you got to figure out the personality of that whip. Okay. Now, my other candle went out because it's so low. But we got one here to deal with. All right, here we go. One, two, three. Oh, the upswing was, oh, it was just a quarter inch off, and it came down a quarter inch off to the left. Here we go. All right. That's the way you do it. Quarter inch adjustment, which at, at nine feet away from the candles, to me, that's, that's pretty good at nine feet away. Again, this is one of my favorite whips that I, let me screw it now. This is one of my favorite whips that I got from Chris King a long time ago. And, uh, this is not a target whip either, and that bull whip is not a target whip. I don't have any target whips, but if you practice enough, you can get really good. Now, this one is a little bit more finicky to me because right here, this turns. I forgot that in camera. This right here turns. See how this turns right here? All uh, right. So... This was not made to put out candles per se. This was a popping whip. And it cracks really well too. And 
That's a fig. That's a fast figure eight. The overhead crank. And uh, the underhand. The overhead crank. Okay, guys, we've been putting out some candles with another great Chris King whip. And uh, this is a stock whip version. And uh, Mr. Chris King is one of the greatest whip makers in the world. It's not a target whip. It's not made for putting out candles so much. But uh, you can do it just like his uh, bull whip. And I got a video on his bull whip, uh, too, uh, putting out candles and... Uh, Anything Chris King touches turns to gold, I think, as far as his great ability to be a great whip maker. Thanks for watching, guys. Gary J.